Hello everyone, I'm Rick at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio and today we're going to be talking about the Yamaha Clavinova CVP605. Uh, this, this digital piano is packed with tons of features so we're just going to look at one, one real quick easily accessible feature and that is the piano room setting for the different piano instruments. So one thing that we get a lot from customers who are shopping for digital pianos is um, everybody's looking for a different timbre on the instrument. Everybody wants something different. Um, some, sometimes you want a sound that works well with classical music, sometimes you want a sound that works well with pop or gospel. Um, and different pianos give you different sounds and some of the digital pianos can recreate different instruments. And we've seen that a lot from the Clavinova series pianos. However, the new one kind of goes, uh, goes a few miles beyond what we've seen in the past. Not, not only does it, does it uh, recreate just about every different piano sound you can get, it recreates every different uh, ambiance or different room setting. So um, this is a really, really good feature for someone who's, who, who probably may be in a professional environment, let's say at a church or um, a music hall, and probably has a need for uh, different piano types, you know, not just limited to one music, as, as a lot of you may, may feel the music you're playing can often dictate the tone that you might need from the piano. So let's just look at this real, real quick here. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But um, from your default screen, your main instrument selection is right in the center. So pick the concert grand piano, close this, and select your piano room button. And, and right on this screen, it's going to show the piano that you've chosen as well as the background room. And I'm just going to play a little waltz here. You can see me adjust the lid. You hear the sound react. Let's go to a living room. You're going to hear a drastic difference, and I'm going to put the lid back up. Go back to the concert hall, and you can hear that real quick. default setting for that room, we can change it back to Cathedral. We go back to the larger ground. We get those deeper tones you'd expect from concert instruments. Go back to the living room and I'll go back to a upright piano. So you have a wide range of selections there and different combinations with the different pianos, but I think what's important to note is that it's incredibly easy to change the sound and timbre of that instrument and you're going to be able to, to, to get some subtleties that you won't find in anything else on the market and that's really going to assist in trying to recreate a specific sound and if you're a professional what that means to you is that you're really going to be able to kind of capture the phrasing of, of the piece you're, you're intending to play it's going to sound a lot more authentic and um, it's, it's really 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 simple to do again but um, thank you guys for, for watching, and until next time, see you later.